G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is the Fact Finder. This is one of the weapons added by the Steel Dawn expansion, and you can get it fairly early on. I'll avoid spoilers if anyone hasn't had the chance to play it yet, but just do the quests and you'll find this one just shows up in your inventory, just show up on your screen. I've got the blue camouflage paint on it because I believe this paint from Nuclear Winter was originally advertised with the... Uh, with a bull barrel and a 44 magnum and that's kind of the uh, unique thing about this thing it's got a bull barrel which has been missing on the 44 magnum until now which is cool i guess we can have a gun like Kalog. we can shoot nora in the face who is currently alive at this timeline so you know if we sit outside the vault wait for that bold guy to get there maybe we can save nora's life and and then Fallout 4, as we know, it would never happen. Oh, we could actually shoot stuff with this and rate it as a weapon. The Fact Finder, what a funky weapon. And it's I've got a fact for you right now. This thing is garbage. Or oh, is it? We'll find out. We've got uh, two-shot, explosive, and bats enhanced on this. That's the three legendary stars. So, you know, that's cool. And you can drop this if you've got a standard paint on it. I've, I can't drop it now because it's got the atom paint. So it will be absorbed into the universe. If I do drop it, 126 damage. We'll get more into the paints later because there's something interesting that I'd like to show you. So we're going to chuck on Demo Expert, which may or may not be applied multiplicatively. We're going to be utilizing Modern Renegade, which actually got a buff. And speaking of buffed perks, Tank Killer works with pistols now, which is great because we didn't have that opportunity before. And pistols run to powered, so they've given them an extra edge, I guess, in the uh, new additive damage world for penetrating armor, which is definitely helpful. But, you know, all in all, I think they were still more powerful pre-patch than they are now. So, whoops. Uh, yeah, they, they could be a little bit of buffing in order, but... We'll uh, chuck on these Gunslinger perks, and there's nine of them, and we'll move on from that. Got Ricochet and Serendipity, because I'm going to be shot quite a lot. We've also got Critical Savvy and better Criticals for maximizing critical damage and increasing the frequency a little bit, which leaves us one perk for Bloody Mess. Now, you may argue that it'd be better to switch uh, those two around, have uh, three ranks in Bloody Mess, because Serendipity is currently useless, but I'm fairly certain that I'm going to get shot quite a lot very quickly. And having Ricochet and Serendipity, especially against Super Mutants, uh, synergize with each other will help my survivability because I'm only a squishy uh, three endurance character. That's because I've got one of these in here. This is kind of a work in progress build because I don't have enough levels to actually max this out. We've got a couple of points in follow through, mainly for stealth grillering, but extra perception for VAT's accuracy. We've got extra agility and luck to throw around for maxing out those two trees as well as this, well, usually, but don't have quite enough. So, you know, we're, we're fairly powerful in terms of what kind of perks we can add on. So, honestly, I'm probably wasting it in a little bit in perception. Might want to move those over to endurance so I've just got a little bit more staying power because I can't really glass cannon this like I can with winter because I don't have the damage output. And, I mean, this weapon doing 212 will probably suffer fairly badly. And guess what's being thrown across the room again? Shut up, Twitter. Okay, so the paints on these are weird. So you've got the default appearance, which is fine. This is what we always see. The American paint has a paint job for the bull barrel. The blue camouflage paint does, but the gold doesn't. Why? I don't know. Okay, welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? And look at that hipfire accuracy. For a two-shot explosive, or a two-shot in general, I'm thinking that that's pretty damn dependable and reliable. Now, we're not going to be using um, sneak attack criticals for the, you know, the duration of this, so having any COVID operative perks is probably a waste of time, but that being said, we might as well use this thing in bats as much as possible because, oh, come on. That's XCOM, baby. Aha! I win because I've got a, I've got a chest piece of the dense variety that... Yeah, any whiffs that you get with revolvers in this game are greatly punished. And oh, come on, game. We don't have a damage output to outpace that. And success! We're avoiding damage here. Uh, we seem to have uh, started doing that now. Oof, can't even one shoot a goddamn mutant hound. Now, pre-patch probably would have easily done that. Why am I missing a 95% shot? Come on. We're not playing XCOM here. Also, my crit thing didn't activate. And now I'm glad, really, really glad, that I decided to use Serendipity because I would be very, very dead at this moment. 
not all that convinced by this thing, Bethesda. He's not doing too well, but at least we're getting... Ooh, Vampire's Assaultron head. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that. Never mind! Uh, okay. Okay, let's continue this. This guy's just ran over here, because why wouldn't he? I mean, come on, at least out DPS this guy with his assault rifle. Oh, he's going and see the, the helicopters. Well, I guess they're something of interest. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit more potency out of, um, I guess, what's it called? I don't even know the perk name because I've never used it ironically, uh, unironically, up until this point, but I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what it is! Okay, why do I have, like, a problem where my limbs, like, instantly shatter? That's not good. Okay, so here's why two-shot explosive sucks, alright? You've got a target, and you're shooting at it. You're doing 212 damage, you're not doing two-shot. Okay, all of that damage is not divided between... It's all in the one projectile, it's not divided like it is with a two-shot. So, you know... However much damage you're getting there, we're getting 87 with the, uh, you know, shots here, but, you know, it's, it's basically, what I'm getting at here is it's going to be a lot less soaked up by damage resistance. I mean, we can occasionally one-shot stuff, but, um, we're gonna need to stay ourselves in hidden or caution to do that, and for a revolver like this, that's not very, that's not gonna work very well, because we're loud and proud, we've got a slow rate of fire, so... If we don't kill them in one shot, they're going to detect us pretty quickly. So, you know, you're know, lining this all up, putting it all into context here. We've got a weapon with low rate of fire, something that can't punch through armor decently enough to even two shot. Even though I, I think I whiffed some of the shots. A deadly mutant hound. I can't out DPS a super mutant unless I'm spamming bats criticals. I'm going to get my ass handed to me once again by a goddamn mutant hound. A swarm enemy can drop this thing. I whiff shots constantly. This thing breaks so quickly, so easily, because it's two shot. It's using up double the condition, maybe even quadruple the condition, because we're hitting four times over with the two bullets and the two explosions. This thing is not a good weapon. Put it in the script, Ben. Just do yourself a favor. Revolvers in this game suck. They haven't been as good as they are in New Vegas and, well, since New Vegas, actually. Because you could actually do some cool stuff with them. You could spam them and vats and they'd get a whole bunch of criticals and you'd fire them extremely fast and... Oh, man. It's just not good. And I'm thinking that a lot of people have already come up with this conclusion. Well, almost everyone. But no, this is not this is not a contender for anything good. If you've already got bloodied 10 mil pistols, even one star, they're going to be performing better. Bugger off, mate. If I get killed here, I'm just moving straight on. That's another 95% whiff, so there's even bugs holding this thing back. It just keeps getting worse and worse the longer I use it. Now, I'm wondering if that's because I'm hammering the uh, mouse button one too fast and I'm not letting the weapon uh, line up because I have noted in my brain that that's been a bug with the uh, single action revolver and maybe it has leaked on to this one but absolutely not a competitive weapon to use ever against anything so put it in the script bin and then wipe the script on your ass and don't give it to Mama because she's a scam artist. Okay ghoul time and the perk was modern renegade I remembered so you know we've got that. <laughs> Whatever that's worth. Where's this rad roach? Wanna kick his ass? Oh, never mind. Righto. Whiffed. Whiffed. Oh, that's not good. For a weapon that you're going to be wanting to fire in bats a lot because of its tertiary legendary effect, it's fucking shit out. No game. No. This ghoul is really having a hard time trying to find me. It's like I've turn the uh, console commands on and then turn AI detection off. I think they're trying to flank me right now. I'm gonna do something. I feel like this inconsistency is not a coincidence either. This has got to be bugged right now. 
Ah, oh, yeah, being staggered. Fun. Starting to think that quick hands is a little bit of a waste of time, even though you got to reload this thing constantly. Oh, well, at least we're one-shot killing ghouls, right? We'll just have to keep on going until the thing falls apart again. What a waste of my hard-earned things. Troubleshooters hunting rifle. Yeah, that's all right. Also, ghouls have cryo resistance. There you go. That's useless information. What? Okay, maybe it places the bullets too low because, come on. I'm, I know that that was a good shot, right? And the ghoul is just sitting there. Maybe I should just use this less in vats and more in actual free aiming. Yeah, great idea that was. Oh yeah, tools aren't the easiest thing to hit, but even when I do hit them twice, I need the criticals to do the damage here. So, in a world where we've got no multiplicative damage anymore, does that, did I just get three of those procking in a row? Wow. I don't want to even want to know how lucky I am to have pulled that off, but... It's just terrible. In every conceivable way. Alright, you want to use it in vats? It sucks because it's inaccurate. You want to use it without vats? You'll have fun with your shitty accuracy and you're spreading your, your damage along two projectiles that are going to be more soaked up. You want to stack this thing min-max of damage? Well, fuck you. You're doing fuck all damage these days because they change the damage calculations. You can't win with this thing. The best way to win with this thing is to do that. Well, it's double or nothing now. I've got nothing left in the tank. I can't even sneak anymore. Is that a ghoul over there? That's a honey boost. We can probably deal, deal with that later. I'm not hoping that my limbs made of tissue paper, and I could do a stim pack here, but... Eh, uh, for you, Brooke. Here you go. Let's move on. So... This weapon on the scale of terribleness is not on the broadside level because obviously this thing mostly works as intended. I mean, it's edging towards that every time I whiff a shot in vats, but there we go. We actually killed something without it having to, uh, <laughs> without it having let them regenerating, whatever. Got a couple more, uh, doggos to kill because the alarm went off. Obviously, the uh, no suppressor is going to do that to you. Even if this thing did have a suppressor, it's going to suck a little bit. I think what... And this is the thing I was kind of talking about back in the day. Is like, well, all of these gunsling options suck except for the 10mm pistol. And you know why? Because you can suppress it. Now, you can't get the big multipliers anymore, but I'm thinking even with the small additive bonuses that you get from sneak criticals these days, You'd be better off with a Chimera, a Chimera Pistol? Crusader Pistol. A Chimera Pistol? Is that what I originally thought it was going to be called? No, it's Crusader because they're on a crusade. Except... No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that. The story spoilers. Anyways, we'll uh, kill Swan with this and then we'll uh, see how we go against other things. Right, we're doing this. Uh, we're doing the rest of this with plasma grenades. Success. All right, I don't want to waste any more of these things. So, I mean, shit, I gotta get queen killing on this character. Too bad I can't do it alone because all of my weapon options are crap. Although I've got a bunch in perception now, so I could just pivot over to rifles. But then, who am I going to use pistols on? Winter? Actually, yes. She's better suited for it. Alright, we'll finish off with these crabs because this thing hasn't got the power to deal with Scorch Beast. And I don't feel like repairing this thing again. There we go. We two shot at a Milex Stout Shell. We've got a Exterminate Ski Sword. Probably going to get our asses handed to us by Mr. Crab. I hate the, the, the preview legendaries. I would rather see if I'm in caution or danger or not. I could not tell because he was not running directly at me and there was no combat music to indicate either. Hate that shit. I wish I could get a mod to remove it. Might. One day. Alright, my other queen is out to play. We've got a 
decent amount of adrenaline, uh, 36%, which is only one rank of it, right? But we get the ability to cripple limbs with this, which is something we could use tactically here. Maybe I could have, uh, you know, figured I should have gone for the legs on the ghouls, but generally you don't want weapons that fire this slow to, you know, concentrate a lot of fire on the, you know, limbs that would make it harder to attack them because you want to use those shots up for something more substantial like headshots for increasing damage output. Like the Skyrim gods say, the best defense is good offense. Now luckily for me, we're not going to have the DPS to drop this thing very far, so I'll just take out the things and then just sit here. The question is though, will this thing break first or will it be will it be the Mylurk Queen? I'm going to say this thing, so we'll just give her the plasma grenade treatment. 117 damage. Thanks, demo expert. Come on. One of these days. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, I can't see anyone using this for a primary weapon in anything. And if you think that's bad, try this against the Scorch Beast Queen and be absolutely flabbergasted by the amount of damage that it just doesn't do. You'll be hitting like in the 20s possibly because you've got that weird explosive resistance on her skin still. But I hear another crab. Not quite done yet. But look, I'm kind of done with this thing. I'm going to script it to be honest. This is not even the one this character grabbed. I just transferred it from Winter just to save like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so of time. So, <laughs> I mean probably interested in what these things are, right? But many players have probably told you that this thing's fucking garbage, and they're perfectly right. Don't bother getting this weapon, or actually bother getting the weapon and just script it, because 40 script is decent. Thank you for watching, guys.